Hey yo, what's up and welcome, I'm the one and only West Coast King and welcome back to the Chicago Fire Career episode number one and today we finally get to get in and play some games with these team but before we do that we do have the preseason tournament to take care of and while I'm not going to play any games in this tournament I will simulate all the games here in this thing I am going to play with our tactics and our formation a little bit to try to find something that works with the players that we have to start out with and this is what I have come up with. Don't pass judgment yet. I know it doesn't look like anything you've ever seen before, but it does get all of the players onto the field that I want to have on there. I don't know about a three at the back. I, I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm probably going to run the entire preseason tournament with this team in this formation. If it doesn't work, I do have a fallback plan. I saw the comments that said run Raheem Edwards at left back and Hausler at right back. And I might make that change if this doesn't happen, if this doesn't work. So we'll try it and we'll come back and assess the results from the preseason tournament. And the preseason tournament, I, I honestly, I don't know what we learned from this. I, I, I guess it's all or nothing with this formation pretty much. So the first game we beat Atlas for nothing. Nice victory. Katai got a hat trick in this one. Uh, then we moved on and lost 1-0 to Pumas, which was unfortunate. Came back and won the next one 4 0 And then lost out to Puebla 2-1 in the semifinal. So either we run teams over or we end up in a scrappy dogfight, which we don't come out on the right side of. So I think it showed enough potential that we're gonna stick with this. For the first few games of the season I, I i don't know how it's gonna work when i play with the team but i guess we'll find out all right so here we go the first game of the season and of the series and i've never gone into a first game like this before with so many questions i have no idea how this is going to go so without further ado let's get this thing going oh there goes graham zussi Please get there, Frank. What? what the heck was Frankowski doing? Wow, shaky to begin with. Corner for Sporting. They're going to take this short. Oh, Frankowski very nicely. Oh, my God, he lost the ball. What a save by Ousted. Oh, my God, how is it not one nothing right now? Oh, here's Johnny Russell. Overlapping is Zussi. Ball in. Kapelhoff there. Every ball that comes into the box makes me so nervous. Because we just do not have the height out there to deal with a lot of that. But we do have speed in the form of Frankowski coming up on the counter attack. Ball across. Another one. Mihailovic was offside. Gaitan hit the post anyway. That could have gone better. Nice ball out by Ousted. Finding it to Frankowski. In the middle. Mihailovic through. Nikolic is on it. He didn't do very good to hold it. Referee pulled down. How is that not a red card? He was pulled down from behind. All right, well, let's see if Katai can take free kicks. This is our first good chance of the game, really. Katai on it. Let's let's line this up. Katai, good power. Decent shot off the post. Frankowski, nicely done. Mihailovic just run past. Oh, Mihailovic takes it off of Ilya Sanchez. Mihailovic, holy lord, what a bad shot. Okay, we'll have to work on that. Up here for Mihailovic. Mihailovic again for Frankowski. That's beautiful play. Frankowski barreling in on the defense. Frankowski pulling it back. And another one. Beautifully done. Saved off the crossbar. You've got to be kidding me. Boy, Nikolic intercepts that ball. Mihailovic shoots. And that's the third time. The fourth time if you include the offside shot from Gaitan. The fourth time we hit the freaking woodwork in this game. Here we go, Gaitan. Looking for the ball over here to Frankowski. Frankowski's been a real, real problem for sporting in this game. He gets it to Martinez. And Martinez scores. Christian Martinez. Not Christian Ramirez. Christian Martinez with a beautiful curl finish top corner. And we finally have the lead over sporting. On a counterattack, this team is lethal. We have so many numbers, so many options going forward. I really like that. And the defense has been solid so far. Overall... We've done very well. Oh, that's such that's such great movement. Katai on it. Nikolic 
One more. Christian Martinez is wide open again. Martinez. What in the actual hell was that shot from Martinez? Ilya Sanchez on the wing. Back inside. Oh, that's a good pass. We have no one over here to cover that. And it's an equalizer. It's just one of those crosses where your defender just gets turned around and he can't get up to stop it. That sucks because that, that's undeserved. They, they got that out of nothing. It's just a ball put into the box. Our defender's right there and we couldn't deal with it. Katai in here for Nikolic. Oh, what a move by Nemanja Nikolic. And we got the lead right back. Nikolic has gotten in good spots. Hasn't finished very well when he's had the ball and had those chances. That one he could not miss or I would have yanked his ass off the field. But we do have the lead back. Ten minutes left to play. Let's buckle down and get this win. All right, we have a corner. This probably is the last action of the game. But can we add one more here? A little insult to injury. Wow, the keeper did not come for that. I thought we were going to have a chance. But I think that is going to do it. So a 2-1 win. Probably should have been more like 2-0 or 3 or 4-0 if we hadn't hit the post a million times. But overall, that was very promising. I was a lot better than what I was expecting. All right, so we're going to move straight into game number two. No changes from us this time as we're headed to Minnesota at Allianz Field to take on Minnesota United. I'm expecting them to be pretty decent this season. They actually have a pretty good team and they're doing well in real life. So I think they're going to be a pretty good opponent for us. Again, we're not making any changes. We're just going to keep this thing rolling. All right, here we go. Shadows and all. That could be a bit of an issue for us, but the man we're going to keep an eye on here, Darwin Quindero. We know he is the danger man for Minnesota. Katai for Gaitan. Gaitan pulls it into the middle for Nikolic. Beautiful play. Mihailovic, nicely done to Frankowski. And what a beautiful goal that is. Counterattacking with his team is just so easy. Frankowski's offside. He really was off. I should have just shot with Mihailovic. Why didn't we just shoot with Mihailovic right there? I mean, it wasn't a bad idea. No, it was a bad idea. I should have just shot. Oh, Finley, you quick little... Oh, that was a nice move. That was a good pass as well. And there's a goal for Darwin Quintero. He's not offside, and it is 1-0 Minnesota United. It was really good movement. And the speed up the wing just, just killed us. Really killed us. Looking for some instant equalizer here. Katai, very nice movement. Katai all the way across for Frankowski. Just nowhere to go with the ball, though. Yeah, there's. I can't find any space. Did we just get a penalty? All right, well, Opara wiped out Adams on the edge of the box. And we have a penalty. Okay, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be Nikolic to take it. Nikolic with the run-up. Finesse, we hit the... Oh, it's still in play as well. It's the fifth time we've hit the woodwork in two games so far. What are you guys... Seriously, what are you do, What are you two doing over there? Oh, no. Darwin Quintero. Did I not say that he was the guy that we had to watch? And it's 2-0 Minnesota. Right after we missed the pen. And it's 2-0 Minnesota. All right. So to start the second half, I am going to switch to a 4-1-4-1. And I brought on Raheem Edwards to try to take the pace out of that wing Ethan Finley's kind of caught us a couple of times so hopefully this matches up better but honestly we just need to score some goals here to try to get back in this thing up here for Nikolic Nikolic in the middle beautiful out here for Katai Katai barreling in cuts it in Katai shoots and he hits the outside netting we just can't hit the target oh no that's another one through that must be nice to just shoot and score every time we certainly can't do that. If we would have scored half the chances that we've created, we'd be tied right now. Instead, it's 3-0 Minnesota, and I don't think Ousted's made a save in this game. Oh, no. Here we go again. Rodriguez is through. We can't catch up to him. That winning? Are you serious? Oust? Okay. I said goalkeeper was a problem in, in the last episode, in, in episode zero. What the hell was Ousted doing on that? You can't allow a guy to score from that angle near post. That is completely unacceptable. He didn't even move. Schweiny delivering the corners. Okay, I guess that works. I mean, Shuttleworth just punches that away. Falls out as far as Mihailovic. Mihailovic going over here for Edwards. Edwards going to line up a shot. Raheem Edwards. Okay, we have a goal. It came from outside of the 18-yard box somehow. 
And it's Raheem Edwards. Okay, well, I mean, it's a consolation goal at this point, but it's a goal. Nice move there. Nikolic, one touch. And Nikolic scores. Apparently, we just don't shoot from inside the box, and we're golden, because that's two goals now in, what, less than 10 minutes, both from outside of the box. Not a lot of time left here. Can we find something? Maybe one more. Make this thing at least respectable. Frankowski, ball across. Shuttleworth with the save. Nikolic scores again it's 4-3 now where was this team in the first 75 minutes how all of a sudden are we scoring everything oh boy my goodness inconsistency is going to be an issue with this team i can tell already and there's the final whistle straight after kickoff Ooh, that was maddening because we didn't get outplayed by minnesota we did not our goalkeeper had a freaking shocker of a game and we just couldn't hit the target for the first 75 minutes. Honestly, we flat out outplayed Minnesota. They just beat us on four shots and four goals. Like, that was just so unfortunate. So what did we learn in the first two games? That formation, it works against some teams, not against others. It's not really sustainable due to the depth on this team. And it makes us kind of one-dimensional. It forces us to play through the middle at all times and kind of takes Katai and Frankowski out of the game too much. So it's time to go to plan B. I, I saw enough in that Minnesota game to know that we should just scrap that plan altogether. We're going to go with Edwards at left back. I'm going to try Hasler at right back as well. Even though Kapelhoff played well there in the second half against Minnesota, we'll see what Hasler can give us. And I, I think this just gives us a little bit more balance and gets players in a little bit better position to succeed. So we're going to go ahead and wrap it up right there for today. We've only played two games. Other teams have played quite a bit more. But we have just the three points to show for it. And we sit in eighth place. But I do think that we're a playoff team. I've seen enough that I know we can score goals with this team if we can hit the target. We should be able to put the ball in the back of the net. Defense, as I knew, is going to be a problem. But I think if we address the goalkeeper situation, we should be at least a playoff team. So... I'm optimistic for this season. Our objective is to make the playoff final. Pump the brakes on that. I don't know if that's it. I don't know if that's going to happen. But I do think that we'll at least be there come the end of this season. It's still very early. Still a lot of games left to play. But we're a decent team. So that is where we're going to end for today. If you did enjoy it, make sure to let me know by leaving a like below. Subscribe if you're new. See you when we come back for some more Chicago Fire career. See ya.